So if you just started using my view board, you'll notice that there are some fancy things like if we're using our stylus and I'm riding with it and I spin it around, I get a different color. And uh, we call this the pointy tip or the thin tip. And you can actually customize things like your default pen colors or your default backgrounds or how long it takes for you to sign out of my view board but we can't do it inside the My View Board app. We need to go to the website to change our settings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to myviewboard.com and we're gonna choose the option to sign in. And from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna either choose sign in with Google or Microsoft, or if your organization has set up a uh, sign in by email, you can do that as well. But most of us will either be using Google or Microsoft to sign in. We'll choose our account here. And if you've never set up your account before, you might get a few prompts to uh, basically finish setting it up. We have a separate video for that, so you can go check to see what that actual process looks like. But once you're into the website, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the top right. You're gonna see I already have an icon. This might just be a letter to your name, uh, or it might be a generic icon, but if we press that, you're gonna see that there's this option called settings. And when I choose settings, I'm gonna get all these options over here on the left. So for example, I can change things like how often I get emails. I can adjust things like security. So if I wanted to turn on say two-factor authentication, I can. But let's come down here to where we see this option called whiteboard. And then we have preferences. So first off, you can choose your My View Board theme. So if you prefer a light or a dark theme, uh, these options here are related to the whiteboard portal. Uh, so we're not gonna get too deep into those, but you can change some of the settings on how kids can interact with the board. A couple ones we wanna highlight are the auto sign out time. So the auto sign out time basically means that there's a timer on the My View Board software that starts counting down after you've signed in. So if you forget to sign out, after a certain amount of time, it'll automatically sign you out. So you can change the length of time there. But if you scroll down a little more, you're gonna see here's where we can change our pen settings. So remember, I talked about the stylus. It has a thick tip and then a thin or pointy tip. So you can choose, hey, every time I sign in, what do I want my default color to be for the pointy tip? And what do I want my default color to be for the thick tip? And then you can choose how thick or thin that writing is. So for example, I like two for my pointy tip and then three for the thick tip. If I keep going down, I can also change my default font setting. So sometimes you'll notice the font is a little small. You might wanna make it bigger so you can select somewhere around 60 to make it nice and big and then you can change the default color. Just don't forget to click that save button at the bottom uh, to make sure that all your settings are updated. If we scroll back up, you'll also see that we can change things like your default background. So uh, essentially what this would do is every time you open my view board, that specific background would uh, pop up for you. And then you can configure other things like your magic line pen or your shape pen. So let's go back to the whiteboard software. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sign in really quickly to my view board. And if you remember, I had uh, black, right, when I wrote with the thick tip, and then red when I wrote with the pointy tip. But now, if I write with the thick tip, you'll see it's blue, because that was the setting that I had configured. And if I use the pointy tip, then I get that red or that orange color, because that's what I configured in the settings. So if you want to change your default settings, head over to myviewboard.com, sign in with your account, and then go to that preferences option.